Good morning, folks. It's 7.02 a.m. on the 19th day, 5th month, 2023. A single old, uh, a song you dance. And what I'm looking at here is a, a tsunami warning center in the maps. So anytime you have a heavy quake uh, of the magnitude you've seen over in the tropics up there north of New Zealand, and you, you can go look uh, and see what to expect. Uh, what type of tsunami to expect? It could be small, it could be large. Um, in this case, it's going to be small. That's the beam that did it, by the way. Screenshot it with the timestamp right here. Screenshot this. I've already got it. You'll see it go right through the uh, corridor right here. This is what I showed the other day. And I said, yep, that good for them. I also see the beam sweat that hit here and here. And they all hit their quakes to how far of them actually. This island's ringing like a bell. That entire beam sweat has has, has kicked off uh, quakes across the planet. It has. We had not just a little bit of time. I'm going back. Uh, they, they perturbed the mantle uh, for quite a time. Many hours the microwave was on. And the emanation point looks to be a ship at sea. And when I showed it, they're manipulating a storm. I can't blame Newcastle. I can't blame Blenheim. I see no indications that they did this. I see an emanation point of a ship at sea, right here. You know, the V-points where it headed, all the energy that it, that, uh, it had to change the condensates of the water in a high atmosphere is visible, pointing right here. Ship at sea, actually, right here to be exact, is the emanation point of this particular beam. And there's other ones that have been continuing the reverberation of the mantle. Uh, this has been a direct hit, a direct target uh, pinpoint. That's going to diss a lot of ease. It's going to vibrate the ground and cause more liquefaction in New Zealand that they don't need right now as their storms are coming over. Uh, this one here, if I click on these things here, you can go here to where it says messages. I just click it and it'll tell you uh, what the threat is, how large it was, and all that. You get all the wonderful data right here. It was six miles deep. Set. These are all the aftershockies. See, it, it was a lot. So, I, uh, and this is all around the world, all the way here to Southeast Loyalty Islands. So it will be this data from here to here. Oh, uh, will be this current quake. And you got all sorts of resources. It looked like they hit about a meter. So it says, here's this tsunami value uh, for Vanuatu, says uh, 0.3 to 1 meter. It's not huge. Uh, but when that hems up into flat places coming in from the deep, the waveform can mount up. But we're not expecting this big, oh my God, uh, type this kind of buries the Statue of Liberty or anything ridiculous like that. Uh, but it's not good to be down at the coast if another quake hits while these waveforms are going. It could be dangerous. The tides ripping and stuff is going to be uh, bad. Here's Tonga's information is right here. Talks about their quakes. They has two big ones, two real big ones hit. See if we can pick up them at Tonga and it's right over here. That's the Vanuatu one. Watch. I'll zoom this down. This whole area has been absolutely beamed. Absolutely beamed. Can't it can't it can't be denied. I'm trying to get at the controls, but I want timestamps. Because this is crime. This is a crime. Get a big beam shooting up through here. Triggered quakes all through here. Remember I said it. I'm just following these lines. I look at the uh, ring of fire different as well. I don't believe in continental drift. And if I take that out of my equations and see to make, see the ring of fire as something independent that can lift and drop like a bumble ball you stand in when I'm exercise once, and you'll start understanding how I do. I see pressure push someplace and not another and how it can lift. Somebody was bringing up notice and lightning strikes over fault lines. It has to be expected when fault lines are bound. And they're going to at least have a lot of piezoelectrical discharge from the squeezing of the racks. You know, squeeze the rack, get a volt. Is how they always had us remember it in physics. And that'll put sometimes quake lights you guys see, actually plasma begins to glow from the, the potential differences. And yeah, it makes sense that lightning will strike along fault lines to me. And can those be squeezed and induced? Absolutely. And the uh, the shape of the mount is kind of interesting, and I, I do keep this in mind. 
and the, the dynamics of the uh, mechanical advantage of this lever arm and how it twists and how this is different. And look under here. I, I don't see no dumb bases as I go looking. Has, has something happened? Has this the Q people been correct? This is really in a blank area. Right? I do look. You know, I don't disregard what you say, but I stick with a fact. The fact is I predicted a quake. Yes, it's not that interesting, actually, this area here. Nothing I would, uh, other than uh, underwater archaeology, do I see here. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Camera default view. Gives me all sorts of uh, choices here that I can go to. And it shows you what it looks like on the islands and, and such. So I can get an idea of some of the faults that run underward, under and off. Like, that's important. That That's a feature I don't understand. But that's my mappings, which at some point I'm going to have to bring them up. I'm going to go out again. So we had two real bigs hit, hey, kind of on the edges of Swiss. This one's just going to show that one. That was not as small ever in Tonga, a hey, 7.4. But again, the timings of them creating a waveform that can then be pushed. Like if you time somebody on a swing just right, you can eventually get them to go right up and over the top. But if you stood in front of them and they was coming around, whammo. Uh, that's just momentum and swinging and waveform. They're basically a waveform while you're pushing them. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't take as much effort to keep it going, does it? Nope. So even once you get a big beam going, little beams from next reds can keep things going. But the next reds ain't going to reach up to about, out about that far. So it takes bigger devices to do things. I'm over here. This is a very interesting piece of the mantle here. Very, very interesting. And I'll enter it into my Imaginarium at some point. So you can see the wing at the, the body, bottom of the dragon. Kind of looking thing in its head. You'll see it. And my Imaginarium is a, it's very cool. You see the bird? You see its crest? Beak? Crest? Yeah, interested in it. You're, you're just a toenail. <laughs> the stinger. What did they kill down here? This is an interesting imaginary that I'm going to write into a novel. Uh huh. I have to do something in my, my spare time while I'm predicting earthquakes that my messenger went absolutely nuts. I don't predict earthquakes. I tell you there's a risk because I see things. Great. And I'm very, very accurate. Click to view the bulletin. Let's look in. Let's zoom in and look at the bulletins, right? Let's, I want to see the bulletin. What does the bulletin say? It says, at this time, a six-mile thing, so I'll hit the messages. Message says, Tsunami Message Center's number six, Pacific Warning Center, Honolulu, has issued at 0525 UTC, which is universal time, which is where I am. Yeah, it was yeah, right when I got up. It must have woke, woke me. You can hear it. Hey, my ears are still ringing. Uh, this message is issued for information only in support of the UNESCO <clears throat> IOC Pacific Tsunami Warning Center and mitigation system. Mitigation? Stop beaming it. I didn't mitigate it. Let's see. Authorities will determine. So basically it said there uh, it was a magnitude 7.7. .7. Its origin time was 0257 UTC 9, on the 19th, 2023 of May. And the exact coordinates are right here at 23.2 south, 170.7 east. Uh, the depth was 10 kilometers or 6 miles. At east, it was southeast of the Loyalty Islands, an earthquake with preliminary, preliminary magnitude. And it'll use a couple different scales and they'll change that number. They always do. Is one of them as uh, they say that the numbers are too high for the one. The old Richter scale say so changed them. Uh, it's only this is not big, it's not a huge, but that's a lot of movement into a shallow area, though. So imagine uh, those people crapped it, your little fishing boats and stuff. So the waves will be forecast for this area. So get your freaking boards waxed, Australia. Get her down here. The pipelines are going to be running, especially to get up north. You get out of the gap of this. I'll show you the map. All right, if I can get a map there again. If I'm, uh, it's here somewhere. Oh, I, I bypassed it. I'll get it in a minute. Yeah, the potential impacts. A tsunami is a series of waves, and it tells you definition. Impacts can vary from one section to another. The cause, impacts, da, 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 da. estimated arrival at ETAs. 
have passed already. The ETA has passed, but the wave will be going back and forth. So you're going to have some very unsettled conditions. Tides will be unpredictable. And at a time when this weather is coming ashore for New Zealand, uh, you could have picked the worst time. Uh, the biggest effects is going to be up here after the waveforms because you'll have this one and that one bouncing. Right? Because that waveform is going to be blocked a bit by this island from this quake here, and she's going to bounce. Boom. It's going out all like that. So it's very bad for uh, echoes of uh, energy through uh, this area where my middle finger is here as things are going to bounce around. And so. Yes, New Zealand, your earthquake risk is extremely high still, just from the dynamics of the storm and the actual uh, the reverberation set up by those big two big quakes. Timing is bad, and this is it coming of course. It's going to be very very electrical on New Zealand here. Uh, if this is into early Sunday morning, you know, one three o'clock in the morning stuff. You guys get a light show. My gosh, this is so easily predicted. And then the cold air is coming out to meet this one here. Hey, you got a second batch coming. Watch this come up shore. I'm just, they scattered that quick, didn't they? Wham, I'll have it, North Island. They got, they got a hard end for your land, don't they? The land grabbers. The great greedy grim land grabbers. What a fucking shame. I wonder if uh, Tonga or them have recently turned down any international monetary fund loans. Very often you get punished with weather after you turn down the IMF, I've noticed. And Jim Carrey comes to visit and you get four cyclones around you because you didn't sign the Trans-Pacific Partnership comes to mind, Australia. Was that in 2016? Wasn't it? They made, they made Winston and... My God, did they devastate Fiji. I'll never forgive them for that. I, won't, I don't have to forgive. I say forgiveness for the Lord. Right now, it's atonement time. And there's another big batch of badness is coming to these poor folks that probably had so many of their houses and stuff leveled. Maybe can catch some pictures. I got only one spot up here I can look. Air building's still standing. Everything ain't all wash. Gosh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that view, huh? My, I just have to keep track. I have to look. This is such a shame. Earthquakes can be induced by EMF. Uh, the tsunami wasn't that high. And so as you click those warnings through here, you can find out. What was the, what did they say for Guam? You know, and they're talking about it's the same one, same earthquake, but there's no tsunami threat for Guam. You can actually go through and look for your country to ease your mind. And if you're in a big ship or something out at sea, you're more safe because the, the tsunami wave itself will pass underneath you. You probably won't even notice it. If you're closer to shore, you may notice some racking. But if you was out here, you wouldn't. The wave would be right, go right underneath you. That's why a fisherman, when they see an incoming tidal action wave, they'll head towards it. They'll get out into deeper water so the wave will pass underneath them. Like that video I showed you the other day. God damn it, it's right on the fucking island. I'm going to have a look in here. So I'm sorry about my swears. It's a Toretti thing. And so you'll have to understand so I have my disabilities to lead to some superpowers of overcoming. Right. It's not a very good map. I think I can do better than that. He just goes right for it. Dunga. Okay, let's uh, Gungadin. <laughs> Tangadin. Let's see if we can uh, get a picture. I gotta see exactly where this is. I'll go. What do they say? It's 32 points something. I could do by coordinates. Hey, this is a live video. You get what you pay for. So it's right on the edge of the port check there. It's right on the top of the mount. And it's going to cause some landslides, which also was, it could have been what happened. It could have been a, a rock drop and a quake. So let me go get a good look at that. I know where you are now. Do -do 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 -do. Right, we're going to get you the port check here. This is where the quake struck. Struck right here. Let me give that a minute to go clear. What's offshore? Anything interesting? 
That'll be where we swear that it was actually mapped better than the area, so it'll look clearer. This is the site of interest to me. Did they destroy the tombs? How long? I can show you where I don't see war in the Ukraine. Is this the best we could do for president selection? Is those two guys a sniffer and a groper? I, I want to turn my passport in. Christ, lower jaw, beak, the legends of the Naga continue. Pyramid structures off the shore. You told me they want to go to Mars and they can't even map the freaking ocean yet. That must have been a base where they had a mapping uh, thing go on because they all seem to intersect here. Maybe that's where they went to have their fun or hanging out. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost in my imaginary. Did you see it? It's a shadow it gave off. Shadow games, shadow games, the government's playing games. The shadow government owns it all, and they have all the EMF toys they need to induce earthquakes. And they're very easily predicted. Very, very easily predicted. And if you use the criteria I keep in my head. So, yes, I take it, say this was an EMF deuce quake. Yes, I showed you the beam swest that did it with time steps. And here's your curved mimic image. You see another swath go right here through to where the Tonga one was. Right here with timestamp. Okay, so let's get all the documents. So both of them, what well, that doesn't help me put that big thing in my way. Right, so that should uh, be uh, definitely screenshotted here as well. One beam went that way. One beam went that way. The forcing of the moisture comes down this way. The flow splits this way. This is also a geoengineering move. This came off. This spits up, cyclone goes that way, more earthquakes are going to go on. And that's the one that hit the Tonga, right here. Shadow band by the man. It's just a tickle, didn't take much. I think Pearl Harbor did that. It's Hawaii. Hawaii may be very, very, very guilty here. I got see the sweat. Why you're right in there, you got a tickle point right at it. See the straight line right here, that energy. I see you guilty. And I dubbed the unforgiven. They dedicate their lives to running all of ours. I tell them to kiss my ass. I'm not gonna be the bitter man they want. Now, we're going to fix this. We've we got to expose what's going on first and stop trusting the government to fix itself. That's like an internal investigation in a police department. It don't wash with me. Are we running? Yes, like Forrest Gump, we are running. Right, so now let's do some weather. Right, I've just shut that down now. Boom, boom, boom. I popped you guys some links. Hey, right. This is Mimic, TPW. Right, go, go get your data. All right, for man-made earthquakes, you start uh, understanding earth processes that are owned by man-made scientific techniques uh, using missile defense systems to uh, to not defend. Uh, well, well, they're not defending missiles. They're offending me uh, with their geoengineering uh, that they do. So I'm going to go ahead and load the set view. Uh, you can expect flashes on the screen. I probably should have done this ahead of time. But if I'm going to do a forecast... You have to cast, <laughs> so to speak. The cities and coastal. Yeah, what a shame I can't just scroll this right on over. There needs to be one of these maps that can do the whole world like that. And then I can really keep an eye on our mother. So when they're attacking and smacking my mother, I can expose it. I can scream out the window. What a shame, huh? Well, let's just let that roll now. Yeah, if I go away from it, it won't. And you might be getting unlucky, and it won't at all. And if that happens, it happens, it happens, it happens. Now, here we go, it's flashing. Flash. Ah, uh, chem bomb unacceptable. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to fry. 
Dumb basses get fried and they're frying, came and bombing your skies. Dumb ways to die, breathing can ba 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 bomb the skies. Pay your taxes, then they bomb you the best. Give you a mammogram and tell you cut off your breast. Unnatural roles sold as healthy souls. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways you believe in their lies. Believe in their lies. Robert Deutsch ain't believe in their lies. As we zoom in and on the old Zealand scene here, it is far from a round toilet plus lots of square edges. The usual shoot a bomb off in front of the other one, let it nucleate, and bring it right on around the horn. It's running into a flow diversion right here where that convection is going down while it's meeting this. Now it's going to cause that to collide a bit and trigger some storms in the Southland. We got a big mess of crypt. Looks like it's going over the Ta Tasmaniacs over there. They're not whirling and dervishing enough for me over there to fight the oppression, but that shit just happened. Big straight line square cloud coming over Melbourne. Nothing to see here, folks. Just keep looking at your phones. Uh, it won't be over soon. It'll call it Zan, and well, it's evident right here. This is not a vitamin uh, being deployed at you. If you believe there's a white hat doing this, hey, you, you got a twat hat head. Don't be twatted. Look at this big campaign stream here going across Vita Watch it like they needed breathing troubles too to diss their ease. Every time there's going to be a rumble. Them aftershocks can be as big as as the original quake any time in the next year and a half. Uh-huh. Expected. Normal statistics. Yeah. They've, get, they've cracked that thing so many different ways this month with earthquakes. It's too predictable. When your Gabriel came over, I pointed where three spots were going to quake and all three of them hit. Based on EMF intersecting the beams. What did the Ghostbusters say? Don't cross the beams. Interference patterns. And EMF is, is scalar. And scalar in ways is uh, using multidimensional fabric of ethericness, so to speak. Uh, you can get all those kind of reactions to come with you. See the big S in the center. You see the big fizzer here, which dumb ways to fry. So many dumb cam bombs in the sky. Boom with a boom 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 and a boom 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 and a big square form and a center dot. Have emanation. See it? Pointing at it. And it goes away. It's payload spent. It's getting paid while the nano metals are loading at our brains. Alzheimering. Links in heavy metals. Yeah, do your homework. I'm sure some of you watching it, but I'm going off over here. See this squiggle here at the end? Yeah, it's great. We'll do a launch of launch of sound and racket. Stuperman. De -de 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 -de. To the big six, the nautilus shape for the gear. Mechanical advantage pushed here to there, moving it forward. Compression, aether, moving it back right here. Look at it. That's a beam line. It absolutely is a beam line through here. It's wide. Very wide. Dumb ways to fry. They're gonna kiss my ass. No, let me get to the last image. Have a look. Maybe we can bust a beam. Yeah, here it is. It's a little tickle there. Right here. I'm going to zoom it up. Come back there. Timestamp. Zoom bit. And off she goes. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, the Batman stuck on my head. Could be worse. I could continue with that one, son. See that straight line here? It's going right up here and into here. So your earthquake risk remains high along that line, that line, that line, all intersecting right there. Right, this is where your current higher risk of quakes going to be. See the square come across. See the square coming up. Your storm is being guided right on in. Very interesting. But stupid. A little laughing. It's not so funny sometimes. All right, as we've gone through your week where you hadn't got to see. 
Here we go. Nah, 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 nah. Hey guys, yeah, I'm gonna bring you in the picture here. You're gonna need to see this. You islands are gonna need to see this. Kim Bam suck. Kim Bam suck. But our noses just suck it up. Killing the buttercups. Gosh, this is a bad day. Watch what's coming. You're doing a radar sweep. That'll sweep that down. That's what it's known when you pan a radar. It's called a sweep. Because it acts like that. Hem in the cam. Hem in the cam. Boom. And then you're fucked again. Have it, have it, have it. This is for your very late Monday Night Lightning show. Hey, North Island, man. I think they want your land. It's a land grab. If you said no in the past to progress, the geoengineer is going to progress right through your house. They'll get upon you like a landslide. I'm telling you, the, the reverb right now and the slides risk for New Zealand is so fucking high. And I worry about some of my friends. It's sand on a road will put your ass down. Ice will too. That you don't see can still hurt you. Invisible things can hurt you. Don't. I've got to get shoulder surgery because I goose the throttle a little too much on a right turn one day. I, yeah, going out on Grange Lane. I put my ass down. Should see my helmet. Right, a bit of action here coming in toward the western shores of Australia here uh, near the end of the month. I will be keeping an eye on that. Pressures clearly say that could have happened because the bubble up is there. And that's going to pinch off a small cyclonic system that seems to be coming over here to give a, and give uh, New Zealand another high colonic. The high cyclonic colonic. Or the high cambamic colonic. Yeah. Here she comes, and another one right behind it. This soggy season will continue, and another wet month unfolding for New Zealand. Will it be rain? Will it be snow? Or will the geoengineering finally go? Only this shadow knows. Or do we have faith enough in ourselves to look in the mirror and say, We got this. No way. Because these are your totals on the tens. And I'll tell you what, the shoreline here ain't looking like a happy place to visit at all as they continually move these storms and use this as to butt up against and split momentum so uh, flows can split and move. Heat it up, send, send the main body of the storm south and send its momentum to the east. The heated body melts ice. It's happening to say Al, Al Gore's flamethrower, so to speak, to keep his dream alive of ministry trillions of dollars in funding. How does that always work out? And as we're looking at a soggy corner down here, and some of you parched areas are definitely uh, going to have some happy gardens right over uh, the next three days. Uh, you will expect some action. I'm not happy with these totals here. It doesn't make sense. It's nonsensical, actually. And this is on the threes. You, you guys are dealing with a lot of rain, and it's not going to be over quite yet. Then. See the square shape to that? Like that wasn't forced to fall in straight lines. Come on. I've seen snow swaths that look square in the United States this year when I looked at satellite maps. Yeah, you, come on. And the dumb is saggy. Right into the palm. Over here in the fucking Johnny. How I love you. How I love you. Ah, fuck it, Johnny. You, know, you never should have told me that. Oh, it's almost a dangerous piece of information. That's my little Bugs Bunny. And Shawani. He got you schwabbing, that's for sure. And I look like a head. The profile of a head. E.T. phone home. The stinger right here in the middle. Still spouting lava. <laughs> what? That's just Imaginarium, folks. Yeah, I could call it that so they don't come and take you away. Hey, like that's going to stop there right before Nelson when I was showing all these hitting it. So we're going to be very vigilant, ain't we? Because you don't want to see some stuff that's coming. Oh, no. Yeah, just everybody except you. Uh -uh. Well, that means they're planting a big-ass beam to hold it off. Is you're looking at almost 25 centimeters of water more to come. There you go. Have it on the tents. Have it, have it, have it, have it, have it. Everybody's in agreement. You're fucked over here, and you're fucked over here, and you're fucked over there. Robert's also in agreement since you're fucked over here. He agrees with himself. Like they're going to keep that total down. What'd you do, erect a new radar down there? Well, they do have that big domey looking thing up on the hill over there on the Richmond Range is right behind Nelson. Like, I wasn't going to see that when I was there. Boy, you guys. Spy station. This kid also cause EMF uh, er, waves and beams to be emitted. 
Why? Because they use that to spot things coming over the horizon. And last time I checked, uh, uh, they've caused more harm with those devices than lives saved. And when you're looking at a half a meter of totals over here, it is going to be a lot of snow. Oh, not there. Oh, you fuck. You're right on the wintry mix line, half a meter common. Fucking hell. You poor folks, man. I, I My heart just goes out to you. He invite me to visit you. Why would I want to go there when they're doing this? He said, come to New Zealand. Are you out of your mind? If I want to rain, I just stay in England. I get plenty of it. I'm very experienced with it. I don't have umbrellas. I just use good raincoat. I don't want to be Mary Poppins, y'all. Right now, it's just dark. It's just dark out, so there's not much to see there. What's that, the Amazon word? Oh, no, somebody's house reflected. It's probably a bar or a pub or a sign says you got to have a membership card to get inside. No, you don't. All you got to do is go. And they'll sit there and go, oh, upper crusty with their noses because they think they're better than you. And they want your land and think they'll do a better job with it than you can do. And they want to decorate your house how you want. And they want you to rent everything and own nothing and be happy somehow. Well, Klaus, Klaus Schwab, start with yourself. You own nothing. I don't want to see no private jet, fancy clothes. And by your very worth, the world will decide what you get. And we'll make sure you got fucking decent clothes in. Because we damn sure don't want to see that fairy outfit again. Ooh, yeah, it looks like they're going to bring some ashore over here. Yeah, coming in at 10. It's got to happen. Because they're doing a bubble up pinch. Where this pressure clearly says on these days that they're going to pinch something off up here. That high will dissolute. Bloop. And I could even allow that to come in a little bit more, creating a second bubble up. And that'll move all that is one across to you. So everything below this line here will come your way. Probably about in that square right like that. That'll hit the south, that'll hit the north, that'll dive down uh, to mix the toe. And when you mix the toe, you are screwed. My God, you poor folks. So I hope that satisfies you guys with, with some of your answers. Uh, your coast there is looking beautiful, man. You should just go enjoy yourself. You should. You should enjoy yourself because most of the storms are based down south there. On the day-to-day -day watch. Having fun. Hey, let's get the worry out of the way. You can put all those lines in. 972 is a very big low. It's big enough to create some big wave problems. And adding to it the, the waves from the tsunami-ish uh, movements of the ocean right now. So you're going to have to add 0.3 to a meter to your tides. With surges. And so watch out. So be careful. Don't be a numb nut. Don't win a Darwin Award today. Don't put any safety workers at risk because you're a numb nut. Right? As a big high came over, this should, this should be beautiful weather. This is, go camping. Go out. Go enjoy. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it for me. Go out and ground for me. Go out and smell the nature before the trees are grown. Before all the acid rain because of, we're allowed to put more in the atmosphere now. If somebody shredded the Clean Water Act. Uh, a former U.S. president. It's right. I, I posted it. My, what I said. And now we get more sulfur in the atmosphere. They could say, well, that's just uh, supposed to be there. And meanwhile, here on Wednesday, the 24th, my time on the 25th, your time, there's a hellacious electrical line that's going to come through here. And it's going to bend when it hits. And so it causes a small low to appear right here about where my middle finger is. And it's not going to be good for the navigation of the whales and the dolphins and through, the, through the Bass Strait. And then Kim Berry here, he gets the wintry mix and the wetness is hit thick and while the continual inundations of the toxifications of Melbourne with the toxifiers will go on until we say no more, no more, no more uh, and do the things we know we got to do because we're already in trouble. We're already being punished. They're eating a jelly donut. We're paying for it. It's time for us to properly motivate the system that is supposed to represent us. If this is how it's representing us, you should scale our energy over this island, which is very bad for navigation of animals. And I hear about whales beaching over here. I'm going to be very angry. And all these dots of combines going off near the Esperance area here. This is an unacceptable reality of 3D. It is somebody's out of their mind for, for even suggesting to block sunlight on a planet. Suggesting it. Why don't you just bring the Death Star over and just blast this and get it over with. Bzzz. Boom. Boom.
Mm. Boom! How much more can she take? Only the shadow knows. Well, I'm not taking it. You had a man-made storms, Christ. You have some hellacious uh, times coming today over the next 24 hours. And I'll see if we can get a radar image for you. And I'm going to wrap up. Wrap it up, wrap it up, buddy. Going to shut them down. While, while I'm here, it looks like we get some of the storms. We're coming through Melbourne. Apache Kimbamis. Those ones that went over. Here's Christ. My storms. Let's see. Rattlade. Small burn. This is all bomb induced. Where's the low deck? What are these bomb clusters? Boom, boom, boom. Right here. See the V? Vagin it up. The face. Loops. Any crazy flight patterns through there? Beam swath. Yeah, I don't see here, but a square. Here's squares. Not round. Squares. V shape. Point right at most likely an X red. What are we got going at? Ding dong. The wicked glitch. And he smacked it in the head. Bzz, just said nucleation. Oh, come on. It's like Tetris blocks going by. What kind of fucking radar is that? Give me a break. How can you keep people safe? That one's rotating. Right along the river line here is catching some action. New Zealand, I know you're catching action. The island out here is frying. Bzzz, getting fried, getting fried, coral sea style. But it's left that corridor open on the tap. See the flat? Air for flow. To re-nucleate as it goes to the other side. Dem bam bam be dem me dem me dem me dem me bomb 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 did they kim him? Is it the Kim Bam? The Kim Bam Warriors? Yeah, they get Kim all over the top. And the glitch is shaped exactly like at a shape of the next red did. You ain't making this up. If you made it up, you'd be a bad boy. Being a bad dog. Flesh. But oh, that's a different island. Let me go to the right one. Uh Better eat your vegetables. Tell them to suck your tussicles. Really, man. G.I. Jane can say suck my dick. I knew things were going bad. Because I already had questions about her. It rubbed the lotion on its skin. It does it whenever it's told. It puts the mask on its skin when it's told. It does the same excuse because it's told. They say he's wrong when he's right. And how do those fuckers sleep at night? Well, they can suck my dick. I've had enough of their man-made earthquakes. I've had enough of their kimbams. And uh, you guys have had enough of my swears for today. Uh, your, your weather got totally on. Totally, totally on. Your earthquakes were induced. Don't be seduced by their dark side premises. The force is with us. Always. Big love. Peace. It is the way.